Okay, so we are back. Had a little bit of a equipment malfunction, but we're back. So we're going to finish this up and um, I'm going to pick back up where left off at. But I decided that I wanted to cover up that. And I'm going to put this instead. So it'll read, Kimberly, are you eligible? Sure. We need a new game plan. Just be beautiful naturally. Personality matters. Then I thought about putting this little sticker here. So I'm going to put that there right now. Okay. And... This was just add. I'm going to cut that add part off. My hands are so big and I know they are very much in the way. So let me put this over here for a second. I gotta get some more glue. Put that over here. Oops. Okay. Yeah, so what I was talking about earlier, and you can just watch while I do this. What I was saying earlier, uh, before the video cut off, was that um, a lot of times when we have life changes, uh, it, such as um, loss of work, sometimes our health, we retire. Uh, sometimes we just get to a point where we can't do the things that we used to do. And a lot of times people, especially when they get sick and become homebound or not able to get out and do like they used to do, they become very discouraged. And I've had people to say about um, even some elderly people, and this one lady that I used to go see about, uh, Miss Parker, she's passed away now. But um, I really liked her. She was in her, when I met her, she was 98. And 98 or 99. And she really liked to go and, and do things, but her eyesight had started uh, failing her. And she was a member of an organization, and she even had a church that she belonged to. But I remember when she got to the point where she couldn't drive anymore, uh, I cut that just a little bit too short. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. We, we're still going to use it the way that it is. Um, I was trying to find out one day I went to her house to go see about her and I used to go do her hair and when I went to go see about her she wasn't at home and I kept trying to get in touch with her and I couldn't get in touch with her and I went to an organization that she belonged to and to inquire about her and the other thing about her was that she didn't have a uh, lot of family. Well, she didn't have any family. She they she never had children. Her husband had passed away. He had uh, no children that were living, and she had he had a sister. The husband had a sister, but the sister was very elderly, and the daughter of the sister she 
was elderly. All of these people were, you know, old, a lot, they were, you know, pretty much up in age. And the uh, niece was taking care of her mom. Oops. I messed up. Okay, well, we can still add it. I'll put it up here. Okay, we need a new... That was supposed to be on top of here. No wonder I was messing up. <laughs> Okay, this is going in the wrong direction here. But anyway, whoops. The niece was taking care of her elderly mother, so she wasn't uh, able to come see about Miss Parker. Everyone, like I said, even the niece, she was up in age as well, and she was sick, and she was trying to take care of her mom. So actually, Miss Parker, even with being uh, as old as she was and uh, losing her eyesight, she was actually in even better shape than her uh, niece. So, when I couldn't find Miss Parker, I didn't know where she was at or what was going on. And like I said, I went to inquire at this particular organization that she belonged to as to whether or not they knew you know, where she was and if she was okay. And they told me that they said, well, Miss Parker has become, had become a recluse and that she no longer participated in any of the activities that the organization was having. And so because of that, she became a hermit and a recluse and because she had no family, 